accepted the decision of Brits. We are not happy. It's absolutely. And uh, it's, uh, we are so uh, sure that we will lose after this. As a region, as a Poland, we can lose after this decision. Uh, looking for pools, we may just after this decision, nothing specially changed. The support for union in Poland is still strong. Uh, according to last that 81% uh, of Poles are still supporting membership in European Union. In the same time, 54% of Poles are afraid of the consequences of Brexit, uh, looking for Poland. Britain is still in European Union, rights of migrants are secure, but what will be if uh, some countries are pushing uh, Great Britain to start the procedure very out in, the, in the short time? So from this perspective, our position is to give, to give uh, more time to Brits. Uh, it's a little to think a little more, and probably it's also the sign that, as me personally, we still hope a little that this decision is uh, final, but not final, because as you know, in Central Europe, nothing is impossible. So <laughs> we still hope also that, that Brits can, can change this opinion can find some solution, especially looking that uh, uh, we have not only different opinion about this in Europe, we have also very different opinions about this in Great Britain, which is the, the very important for everybody. And uh, this decision divided the country strongly. Uh, speaking about economy, so I, I don't know what will happen, I'm not expert, but we are losing, I still hold it not, but we, for formally we are losing the, the second, uh, second European economy, looking for European Union. I think that if country is living after five years, if we are discussing to leave or not, I can understand. We can be frustrated, not satisfied, not happy. We expect that more. Somebody is doing better, somebody not so much. But speaking about London, they are living after 40 years of membership, being the second economy in Europe, which is for me, it, me it means an obligation at least to be a second, a second responsibility in Europe also. This place could not get more Central European. This gets as hard to push as you can imagine. So <coughs> it's a very good place to be soaked uh, with a climate of, of Central Europe, whatever that means. And it's always cursed and blessing. I uh, hope you won't be blessed and cursed by this thing. Um, <clears throat> only on the Brexit thing. First of all, I'm not shocked, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, sitting with my colleagues, I was betting for, for, for narrow, very narrow. I got a little disbalanced after our uh, assassination of Joe Cox, because I was not sure how this would play. Because Brits have emotion, they are nice people, uh, they are not that cynical uh, as we here in Central Europe, so I thought this may hit a little bit uh, the balance, but I still thought that by narrow margin they will go up. I know that so the Great Britain didn't recognize what actually has had been happening in former Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. No, no voice to be. Please listen to people in former Yugoslavia. It is an artificial state, but the uh, Yugoslavia is not. You know, I was uh, so I, I have. I, I already was. I was in Yugoslavia, but now it's Croatia. It was always Croatia. It was always Slovenia, it was always Serbia, but it is the creation created artificially 1918, after the end of the First World War. The reason uh, for the Visegrad group, for this initiative, like many countries, to be together and to form policy, to form policy, of course, less formal policy, but however, to uh, to arise interest, common interest. Perhaps we have in general uh, form the common interest of the European Union, but what Croatia does have, for example, with uh, Ireland, with due respect to Ireland, you know what, what I wanted to say, there are some similarity in agriculture with Hungary, but not with Ireland. There are some similarity in tourism, save Kartia, uh, Hungary and Croatia, but not with, and so on. When they decided they will do it, uh, what we I think what we now have to do we, we should give them a space for for really uh, to to 
to think what will be the next step because what they if they start the procedure uh, according to the article uh, 15 then the time starts uh, flying i think that uh, the basic principles of existence eu they they don't change it doesn't matter if, if britain stay or or not so eu will be still and exist uh, what we should do i think we we should we should think why why Britain decided for for these steps. So as well for us should be some reflection on it. Um, I think that um, maybe some of you uh, remember that in uh, 2009 when Czech uh, had a presidency in the EU, it was the Lisbon uh, Treaty, and Czech and Britain, we were announced like uh, EU troublemakers, uh, especially with our President uh, Václav uh, Klaus. So, so now still the situation is like sometimes we agree uh, with decision in Brussels, sometimes we, are, uh, we, we, we don't agree, but still uh, people in the Czech Republic support uh, our membership uh, in EU. Then we will understand that uh, for in first step to give up a little bit of your national competencies and give it to, to a broader community, which is EU in our case, at the end strengthens your national interest. A stronger EU is a national interest to each of us. Please, uh, take the message with you. We are going to internalize uh, your, your message and I promise that we are going to continue.